Hello and welcome to today's little shut in spotlight on Seraph's Last Stand, a fun little game that I found on Steam that you can buy yourself for three dollars. <laughs> it's a little uh, roguelite, I guess you would call it a shooter game. We have a little wizard, as you can clearly see, and your goal is to basically defend yourself against aggressors. And to that various end, you have. Uh, let's see, several ability. We'll say we'll call them abilities, but the roguelike element comes from the cards that you can get after you complete every round. That will variously uh, impact how you play, but we'll get more into that in a moment. Now, for what you see on the screen now, you see your basic wizard, and as you uh, complete, uh, and as you complete the more and more rounds and runs in the game, you get these little things here, these little blue kind of flames that the game calls souls, and those are your primary currency that you use to, in typical roguelite fashion, that you can use to upgrade your character that persists in between rounds. Now, how you can upgrade it will vary both from this little icon here that gives you permanent upgrades, like your damage and your attack speed and all of your various attributes that will cost increasingly more as you can get more ranks as you can see with the attack speed and the soul drop chance. You can also spend them to change the both appearance and how your wizard actually plays. This is the default character that you see. A wizard's hat just looks cool and doesn't do anything and the wizard's staff is your baseline shoots a single little blue projectile. It's one of those you can see this basically if you go to Steam and watch all the promotional stuff, you'll see the wizard staff. Now you can spend your souls to buy various both helmets and staffs, both of which will independently adjust how your character plays, and they're pretty self-explanatory once you buy them. Of course, you uh, if you want to unlock either of these, they all cost 25 souls, even after you buy more than one. And that's basically the primary purpose for what your souls are that you get in game. Rest of the uh, menu you see right here. As for menu screens, pretty self-explanatory. Sound and music sliders, full screen toggle, particles if you don't want your computer, if it's an old, <laughs> an old one like mine is, to just sort of die. Standard resolution, language, and you can change cursor color, which is nice. We'll go with green, why not? Now, everything else, instructions, basically controls here. And as it says, kill everything, choose a card. The third one, then it says, leave your mark. At the end of every round, basically depending on how well you do, there's a leaderboard that you can score on uh, you know, at various levels, depending on how well you do. Shoot and hold, last different move, relatively self-explanatory. Escape is pause. When it says Q for toggle, it means uh, the basically you can toggle auto fire, so you don't have to manually click every single time or to hold it the entire round. You can just press Q and let it kind of go. Now let's see. The encyclopedia here is a list of all of the cards you can actually get. So basically, all your various upgrades. They have varying rarities. I'll just loosely go through these. If you want to look at uh, what they all do, just pause the video at any random point to see what they do in more depths. And they have varying uh, rarities, like most games do. And we go now to the epics. They're a little more rare that you get at a much lower rate. And another thing that sort of adds an additional layer of completion onto this, besides uh, the completion of just, say, unlocking all of these, but I've, or you can basically get all of these, is that whenever you pick, say, in the middle of a run, if you get so many stacks of a certain thing, you get a, a little bonus effect, like the God of Thunder here, because that's your Thunderbolts deal three times more damage, including the Thunderbolt summoned by the Thunder Staff, which is one of the stats you can get access to, which you which we talked about earlier, and you can see, even for the sake of Leech, you can see how many stacks of Leech you need to get and to unlock it, but it doesn't tell you what it is, which I do really like, that I'm really a fan of. It tells you enough to point you in the right direction, but doesn't really tell you anything beyond that. 
always a very nice way to handle upgrades in this moment. But we'll go ahead and continue to show you the rest of these, just so that you at home can have a better idea of, you know, what's in the game and all of these things that, these encyclopedia things, they all do act as a sort of completionist kind of angle of the game if you really want to. And for a game that costs three dollars, I think it's three dollars right now, like three or five dollars, there's a load of replay value in this thing. Now, that is more or less all for the uh, main menu. Of course, we'll do the credits, give credits to the developers for the sake of this. And now, with that out of the way, we'll kind of just pick a, a normal one. But now that I think of, uh, sorry, a normal, a normal one. <laughs> this is what I sort of meant. When I say normal one, we're going to pick one of the hats here that lets you, sh I can show you the reroll mechanic. The fedora is really, really good for just seeing how far you can go in a single player way. But if you care about, um, your ranking, you can't pick fedora, so that's the balance of it. Basically, you get a better run, but you can't cheese the system to get high in the leaderboard. Now, as for the uh, staff, uh, you know what? Let's do let's do the Emerald staff. Why not? Now, before we go into the game, just a real fast thing: remember to like the video if you liked it, sub if you like my content, and I do have a little Patreon that you can sort of follow that will expand as the channel gets bigger. With that all out of the way, I'll show you the actual gameplay proper. Now, again, Wazda moves around. Now you can uh, click left, again, like it says, do all the shooting and stuff. Now, the green, uh, the Emerald Staff is a little different, as it says. It does home onto enemies, so you can sort of fire and forget. But for the sake of the rest of this video, I'm just gonna press the Q for the auto fire, as my cat is a butt. Hi, Carmel! And you dodge your little uh, enemies' projectiles and try and defeat them. And after every wave, like this, you can uh, pick a random upgrade, or you can refresh to get a new reroll. Now, something that I will uh, talk about that you will see if you just get the game. If you don't have the Fedora hat, if you don't use the Fedora hat, the refresh does cost five souls. So those are basically upgrades you kind of can't get. So just be careful when refreshing during a normal run, as it does have a real cost. Uh, but for the sake of our example, um, today, I'll just show you the refresh one. And then you see you just get a little pretty normal, uh, re-roll of your cards. Uh, I guess for this run, we'll do Leech. We'll get some lifesteal. Always nice to have some defensive stats. And with the auto-fire Q toggle and our homing staff, you don't even have to be good at aiming. <laughs> of course, as you saw in the beginning, all of the, uh, what's the word? All of the staffs have various different properties and act different ways that I'll just leave for you all at home to figure out as we, uh, as you, uh, sort of progress further in the game. Uh, you know what? I want to try and see if I can get that leech, um, upgrade thing, so we're just going to refresh until we find some lifesteal. Uh, give like five more. One, two, three, four, five, nothing. Uh, we'll do one more. Yeah, we'll do fragmentation, why not? At minimum, I would like to try and show you guys guys and gals, not to be rude. Uh, a in-game difference of how, like, the ascensions can affect the play. And if nothing else, the fragmentation's a good one to get. Uh, let's see. What do we want? Do three more. One. Uh, you know what, actually, we'll do attack speed. Why not? There is, for reference, an attack speed cap, so you can't just stack attack speed forever. The game doesn't directly tell you this, but if you 
brute force it for science, you'll see that there is a point at which your attacks don't get any faster. Uh, let's see here. Ah, another thing of leech. That's good. Let's see if we can get that leech ascension unlocked for the first time. Nine stacks of leech that we get. I didn't retain that too much. If you couldn't tell by all my ums and ahs, I kind of, other than a rough outline that I put together, I sort of <laughs> take this kind of thing as it comes and just see where it goes. Another leech, which is good. We're at seven, so we only need two more to get the uh, leech ascension. And I have no idea what it does, so this will be fun. Uh, one thing that does need to be said that uh, do be mindful that as far as I understand, I believe the default wizard staff that doesn't have any special abilities does do the most base damage. For example, the homing beacon emerald staff that we're using now uh, does do less damage as a sort of way to balance the game, which does make sense. Same thing for the trident, for example, that uh, shoots three little uh, bolts out in like a tri like a little triangle pattern and stuff like that. They are all they try to be balanced in different ways. Uh, uh, let's do there we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just re-roll and try and get the leech ascension, and then past that ascension, we'll just re-roll a little bit less here. After our leech, I think we'll just try and get some uh, projectile damage upgrades and or maybe some fragmentation. And I think that'll be for the most part the build we go for. After that, we'll just pick like defensive stats like HP and defense. The boring stuff, but good stuff. Uh, I need to find a life steal. Oh, okay, I thought it was. Maybe, maybe it's 12 stacks of leech. Admittedly, we don't have a whole lot of health, but in the early levels, you don't have to worry about them doing, your enemies doing too much damage. I mean, you can't, like, go to sleep on it or anything crazy. Yeah, these early rounds are going to be a little rough just because in a, my haste to unlock another ascension in my little baby completionist way, our rush to leech will, uh, <laughs> it will impact our uh, damage early on. Looking for life steal. Looking for life steal. Looking for life steal. Now, because we don't have a whole lot of damage, we're probably gonna have to play. Try to play a little bit of Frogger here. Also, for reference, the little purple bolts hurt less than the uh, orangey bolts. Basically, the bigger and redder a projectile gets, the more it hurts you, is a general way to look at it. Try and be smart about this. You can also kind of see here that uh, you would have seen it if you would have paid attention there, but notice how I can kind of shoot through enemy projectiles and nullify them. That is the stability stat for reference. But a thing to note is while you have this effect, so do uh, opposing bullets. So you will need to eventually also upgrade your stability stat in order to like really ensure your damage actually makes it to your target, which is more con more pressing a concern than you would think. I really hope it's uh, 12. Now with that little test for the sake of showing you the stability we can, we'll go back to auto fire. So after this ring, after this round, sorry, we'll have uh, the uh, hopefully have. Let's actually uh, fair to ourselves. We'll have the leech ascension. If you do pay close attention, you can actually see that not all of my uh, projectiles are actually making it to the enemy. Some are actually getting eaten up by opposing projectiles. Admittedly, you're gonna have to like look for it a little bit, but I assure you if you pick up the game for yourself, again, it's $3 and it's a 
full game. Uh, it's pretty well apparent pretty quickly on. Early on in these early waves, you won't really notice it, but as the waves and levels progress, you'll pick up on it. <laughs> ah, yes, I forgot it is 10, so we need to be a little more careful here. Uh, 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 let's go with... We'll go with the Tome to make our low-level items more effective. Why not? Let's do something a little different. Seeing how the epic rewards are just more rare. Normally I wouldn't necessarily pick a, uh, ah, a tome run if I didn't have access to the fedora. But I do, so we can sort of be a little bit greedy now. Uh, one more thing that you would have seen, you would have saw over here those little uh, tiny ball guys with the, the pointy ends. There are the occasional, basically, melee enemies that will run up and hurt you. So you do have to be careful, you can't just comfortably stay at range forever. But there are certain things like the overheat card that's one of the epics that does damage on contact and stuff. There are ways to deal with it besides the old-fashioned way of just, you know, shooting them with your magic. So admittedly, it's a little less uh, flashy. Again, looking for our hopefully our last rank of life seed. There we go. Half of your damage is converted to HP, and they all have various little names. Now that we have the vampire thing, I don't think we need to worry too much about life steal anymore. We can just go spend a round or two. Ah! Getting some damage, maybe some defenses after that. We'll just kind of play the rest of the fight here, because as you can see, by committing so hard early on, uh, we aren't really doing a whole lot of damage, and it's becoming pretty apparent. Admittedly, due to the lifesteal, we can sort of uh, tank a lot of this a little bit more. Or not tank, but... All the region does give us a higher effective HP. Thank God we have the uh, <laughs> Emerald Staff for the sake of this video. Otherwise, I would have sort of gone crazy trying to aim and talk. But being able to literally easy mode it sometimes is very nice. I think we're gonna look for a really high projectile damage since, again, with the Fedora we have free rerolls, so we can be very picky and choosy about what we want. Uh, notice, for reference, the uh, the luck would seem like it doesn't really. It's not really that good to get if you can reroll for free. And admittedly, I haven't gotten the luck ascension yet. So I don't know if it, the Ascension makes it really, really good. But Luck and the Tome stuff, like this, are better if you don't have the Fedora and you have a different helmet or hat that doesn't make your refreshes free. So that's why you kind of pick that for reference. We'll go ahead and get Projectile Damage plus four. We need to do some more damage. And as you can see, things are just dying a little bit quicker. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. Run, run away. There we go. Yeah, you can see, as we talked about again earlier, with enough enemies here, yes, some of the of my attacks aren't exactly making it through. To actually make contact with the enemy. This, for reference, is what the souls look like when they drop into the world, so you know. You do have to run over to, like, pick them up in a traditional video game fashion. There we go. Uh, gonna be really picky and just go for some more damage. we go for some more fragmentation. So those little green explosions you see, like that, flying off of enemies. 
with enough levels of fragmentation. Which it gets kind of crazy. <laughs> so maybe actually we'll look for that real fast. Unless I see something really big that j I just ran over it. Uh, it's not really what we're looking for. We just passed it, so to be fair, that's my fault for being dumb. If you've watched my content for any more than like a video or two, you know that I'm very stupid and make mistakes all the time. Are we never going to get it again at this rate? Come on. Come on. If I... There we go. And we'll use that as our form of damage along with just traditional damage increases. As you can see, the screen gets a little, uh, a little full in any sort of, uh, shootery fashion here. There we go, that, that is helping. I do think next wave will probably take a defense if we find one. Oh, I forgot. I think it's every five you get a, uh... A, 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 a epic card. We'll go ahead and commit to the tone. Ah, you see these big boys here. Those are like the opposing artillery. If you get hit with those, those rounds hurt a lot. Admittedly, they're not the most agile enemies, and people, as a general rule, seek to get really far away from you. But you can use that to your advantage. See if we can eat up some of their. Yeah, we can eat some of their projectiles. Oh. Come on, come on. Now, for the sake of this video, I think we'll just try and do a run and see how long I can take it and give you a pretty complete view of what the game is. So you can make an informed decision when you purchase it. Uh. Yeah, let's get defense. Why not? We do need a level of this. Well, maybe HP, actually. That, that'll work. We're not gonna go fishing forever. We're really looking more so for defensive stats. The umbrella sense of the term, and less the traditional one of defense stat. For the sake of our example. Most part, we'll probably just uh, fluctuate between defense and like attack damage. As our attack speed's pretty good right now, I don't think we need to focus too much on that. Gonna have to play a little bit of Frogger here and run and jump around to actually make our attacks actually connect with the opponent. We don't want critical chance right now. Go ahead and get projectile damage plus four. If we get one more level of tone, we can start taking uh, white upgrade level ones to actually get better than a green. We're not quite there yet. We need to be over 100% more effective for it to be worth it. So I think it like four or five stacks of tones, you can start taking the, uh, what's the word, the common level upgrade, that would be better than uncommons. Come on. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll get another fragmentation, why not? We can pretty easily try and split this. And once we get the ascension for fragmentation, we won't really need to get it anymore. Or need to get any more levels of fragmentation. Because that will basically do what the desired effect is, which is giving us AoE effects that we don't traditionally have access to with this particular stat for our build. There are other ways to get AoE, both in the form of different stats you can get, as well as the cards you can take with the Thunderbolt card. Probably seen in passing. Uh, not quite there yet. Again, probably next level we'll go for like an HP maybe. Or I think next level is actually going to be a 
epic card here. So we'll go for another level of tone. I don't know how many levels the tone needs for a ascension. I don't even know if I've gotten the ascension for a tone before, so maybe we can I can also get a couple of uh, new ascensions for the baby completions part of me. We don't really need appraisal. Again, appraisal is an epic one that's nice when you don't want to spend souls on refreshes, but with the fedora we don't need to worry about that. So appraisal is not the most useful to us. Uh, you know what? We can actually get a fragmentation. Why not? I think fragmentation is one of the few examples of... Uh, fragmentation and lifesteal, I believe, are the two examples that I can think of. Of, uh, an upgrade that is both... Haha, <laughs> there's a fragmentation. That is both in the epic card pool and the normal and uncommon card pool. Which is very nice for the accessibility of said thing. Uh, yeah, we'll get projectile damage. As you can see, the fragmentation gets pretty bonkers pretty quickly, and we'll get even more bonkers out once we uh, get the ascension port. I think the next level we're going to look for a health I think for this run, our raw defensive stat will just be like actual HP. And again, we need to get a minimum four, but really like five levels of tone to get to make it uh, more worth it or to make it a better investment to get uh, commons as opposed to uncommons. That is a that's a longer term goal. We can do that. Damage is honestly pretty good. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a let's see if we can find a uh, fragmentation here. Buried in all of this. Uh, five, four, three. There we go. I think it's like another like twelve or something that's needed for fragmentation. I think I could be wrong. I have played many hours of this game. I don't have an exact amount on hand. I'll get another fragmentation. You know what? I want to see real fast. How long have? How many hours do I have in this game? Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. I have yes, yeah, six hours in the game. Yeah, not bad. Which, to be fair, for a uh, what, yeah, three dollar game or whatever it is, to even have this much, ah, this much content is honestly a very good deal. In my opinion, of course, each person's economic situation is different, so I can only give you my advice, and what you do with the information is more on you. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, let's get a fragmentation. Ah, so I think it's 10, the Ram Destroyer. Basically, yeah, but like it says, fragmentation projectile decays less. More fragmentation for longer. And now we can just commit to ah, some pretty normal stuff. <laughs> what a goofy but kind of fantastic ability here. I don't think we need any more fragmentation. We're kind of good on that front. I don't. Again, I don't. Amongst you'll hear me say this a lot in this video. Uh, I've really recently unlocked the fedora, so I haven't had the ability to be so picky and choosy. So with the fedora, it's good to like give you the ability to try out builds, and that's kind of what I've been doing. We'll get another HP. Not eight stacks of HP. Not bad. Out. Not bad. Oh wait, Little melee boys. Go away! So rude. Come on. Yeah, maybe we need like a, a damage. There we go. Oh, wait. Much better. 
Maybe we need to get like a damage for this next level. Uh, again, we're not quite to the point. We're gonna just start ignoring it. Looking. Looking for the thing that I need. Attack speed would be nice. Thank you. And next we'll do more attack speed. Or sorry, attack damage. Next round. <laughs> and sometimes with uh, the fragmentation, you get absolutely goofy goddamn rounds like that. In the best way. It's nothing but a compliment in all sincerity. Uh, can I get a... Attack speed, please. Or attack damage, pardon. Would like to get the attack damage plus 20. Ah, I just passed it. Okay, I'm gonna give it like three or four more. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll get. Uh, we'll get some more health. Why not? Guys, ah, not quite. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts. Come on. Come on. God, these guys are full of sponges. Since we've gotten all of our fragmentation, I think we're just gonna look for tone now. There we go, there we go. One more rank and we can afford to, at minimum, uh, just get whites and then be equally as good. I mean, technically slightly better, but basically equally as good as green, so it don't look so hard. like a grade A dum dum. Three seconds. I do apologize. I am trying to be quick, but it's not exactly cooperating with me. Okay, we'll just go with attack speed, I guess. That is a that is one way to increase our overall DPS, I suppose. significantly easy to deal with. Oh, wait, so you hide for a minute. Okay, come on. I don't really want to be doing this again. Wait, wait, there we go. I do, if I, uh, I'm almost certain, like 90% certain, that the, your damage, oh my god, I'm on the flying ones. 
the damage upgrade does increase the damage the fragmentations do. That's why I was searching particularly hard for that. I haven't done the hardcore map on that, but I'm almost certain that's right. I think we'll go for maybe some more health. I mean, if I don't exactly get what I want, we're not going to start, like, really bitching and moaning too terribly much. I'll give it a few more. Because I don't want to sit here all day. There we go. Quickly get the souls. There we go. Run, run, run. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Come on, just kill one of you. I apologize, I didn't turn my phone on silent like I normally do for recordings. Let's see if I can do that. Now, thank God for the auto fire. <laughs> Means I can put my phone on mute. At little to no cost. There we go. A little better. I need some stability, honestly. We're having a hard time hitting through opposing projectiles. Which is not the best, it has to be said. Uh, what do I want to do now? Yeah, let's do barrier, why not? Need more defenses. And barrier is a pretty safe one to kind of just pass and get. Technically more helpful in the grand sense of work. There we go. Oh god, there's so many. Run! Uh, yeah, maybe we should start looking for Oh, I just never realized I could have gotten tone for that epic. Uh but we probably need to get some stability also. Uh, one of you oh yes. Yeah, lack of stability is Projectiles and flight here. Which is not fantastic. Run! Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, no die. No die. There we go. Okay, uh. Yeah, it's not fantastic or super interesting. You know what? Let's go Your HP is doubled and your size is doubled. I'm massive! Uh, yeah, I never got that one before. Oh, that is actually not great. I kind of can't get through that. Oh no, I didn't think this through. It's a trap. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Oh, that's interesting that you get to play giant because there's also, as you will have seen, there is the uh, shrinking mechanic that eventually gets you to, I believe, like the gnome ascension. Please. I didn't think that the HP would be this much of a downside. Ah! <laughs> that sucked. I'm happy to have gotten it, I guess. We'll go ahead. When it says retry, by the way, it actually just takes you back to the start. Start. Screen. Our reset. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> but that is Seraph's Last Stand. If you like the game, you can get it on Steam. Again, I believe for like $3, or I think like $5 at most. I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, again, as you saw, I'm basically eight, uh, like, what was it, like six or seven hours into the, into the game? I've already forgotten. <laughs> but I can easily see myself putting another like 10 into this, just in bits and pieces over, you know, the next coming months. I think it's a good buy. And I hope that I've done a good job of kind of showcasing that to you today. And you know what? For the sake of it, let's get a new staff in uh, honor of this thing. Let's get the Thunder Staff. Why not? And now I have something new to try out on my next run. Thank you all for watching. Again, remember to like the video if you liked it, liked it and sub if you like my content. If you have some sort of uh, questions or comments, because I'm certain that I've missed something or I've massively glossed over something of incredible importance. I'm certain that I've done that. If you have any sort of question like that, that's what comments are for. Thank you all. Have a great day. Go play some games.